Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, today in this tutorial, I am going to explain about the, how you can customize the key clock welcome theme. As I promised in my previous tutorial, uh, I will make one video about the, how you can uh, customize the welcome page because uh, this part and email is a little bit different. So if you still didn't watch the video about how you can customize the, the Geeklog theme, I will pin that video below of the, this tutorial, then you can uh, watch that video to uh, understand how you can make uh, the key clock theme as a one package because it need to create the one package as a moment and then uh, update the server. So uh, let recap uh, what we explained before. As you observe in this slide, there are some uh, different section of the key clock as a theme or we can say as a uh, one app one is the login page which is uh, basically related to login of the user if renew the password and so on so this page you can customize the words you can customize the background colors font and so on admin page is the the page which you can totally work as an admin user for the key clock to create the client to configure it font color background and so on this is the and account page account page is for a specific user also it is possible to uh, customize based on your taste and desire uh, idea. Come on, actually, uh, a specific solution is not required, but there are so many uh, font. We can say the faith icon, specifically for faith icon, is in this category. Uh, so all this green part. It can make one package, as, a, as I said, a uh, modern package and update the server. And you can select that theme in admin uh, page of the Kikilog and uh, it will be updated based on the that theme. But two parts as a welcome and email is a little bit different. Uh, you need to configure some part and also pass this information in some other uh, folders, uh, which means that even you include this welcome in the green part as a one package, it's still the welcome page is the same. It will not be updated. The only, there is one uh, specific configuration and you need to update in that way. So I'm going to explain about this uh, uh, configuration part only for welcome, but I will make another video for the email to tell you how you can uh, make the for, for the email part. So let's get a start. Okay, as you can observe here, this is a, my key server and after in the server is up and running this page uh, as a welcome page will come up and this is the default version of the key clock so uh, you will find some uh, items in my theme which is uh, uh, customized based on my idea just for the purpose of the tutorial and I didn't go very deep to change all the items, but I can say that 
uh, you can update uh, all of them. Uh, just the, you need to understand where it is and which item you need to update it. Uh, as I said, there is a background and you can, for example, remove those uh, parts or if you want to change the color and so on. It's very, uh, I think is major and it's, it gives you a lot of option to change it. Uh, just for understanding of uh, the, the point, uh, how you can update, just uh, go to configuration part of the, the HTML and you will find the different uh, source uh, for the checking the parts. You can see that different items is located in the different part. So uh, this is the case which you need to uh, find it. I will tell you that where you can find those items. Uh, basically, this is CSS files located in the common page. And you will find it in the common. Uh, but some uh, parts which is related here, you will find it in the welcome page. And I will tell you where it is. OK, so let's jump to the server part and to see how we can configure it. OK, as you observe, in, this is the page for the server of the key club. And uh, there are some folders. Uh, this is the bean folder, uh, which is mainly uh, related to up and running the server. And uh, this is the configuration part, which today we need this folder. And when you open this uh, folder, you will find the keyclog.conf or configuration part. So if you open this file, uh, let me show this item. Yeah, it's here. Uh, you will find such this information in the keyclog.conf. But the last item I added, uh, this is what you need to do for welcome page. Uh, you can see here SPI hyphen theme hyphen welcome hyphen theme equal. This is the name which I uh, put it here, but your case maybe it will change. But this name should be equal to the name of the package which you are going to use for the welcome. So. Uh, this is very important and you need to uh, consider it. After you wrote such this command uh, in this uh, keycloak configuration part, save it and uh, let's go to another part. So you need to create uh, such this kind of the folder to name it as a Oh, whatever. I put it as a custom hyphen theme. And then drop the welcome uh, folder here. If you don't know how you can find this folder and these items, please watch the video about the, how you can customize. I explained in at, uh, at that video how you can find this item. OK, I will not explain here. So I refer to that video. Uh, this is uh, including the, the several parts. Uh, one is the theme, index, and uh, resources. Uh, this part, you can see I uh, add some items as a background and, uh, for example, for the user and so on. And this is the, the welcome CSS. I can show it here. Uh, this is very simple CSS and uh, you can change uh, these items, if you need to uh, change based on your taste and idea, colors, font, and so on. Uh, but oh, what I can say that uh, at that page, on most of them are related to this welcome CSS, but some part of that uh, you need to change it in the 
a common uh, folder and CSS, not in this uh, welcome CSS. Uh, so another file is related to the index part. Let me show show you, for example, this uh, administration documentation. All these things you can find it uh, here uh, for the different items. Yeah, for example, welcome header and and so on. So you need to just to change uh, the item here, then it will change at uh, that part as well. Uh, let's get back to, yeah, this is the index board and the theme. The last item is C, is a theme, the properties, I think, yes, this one. And uh, you can see there are some items. This is the style for CSS. So uh, this CSS is uh, the welcome CSS. And this is the import for the common. If you want to change the some item which is related to the common, you need also to change this part. But uh, in a default version, is only wrote as a keylog. And this is the address for uh, the common CSS, uh, which you can find in this address. Oh, uh, okay. Then you need to copy and drop that file here. Uh, okay. Uh, if you watch that uh, my video, my previous video, uh, you I explain how to create uh, such this uh, file. Uh, in a Marvin package and update the server. But another item is, which is necessary for the welcome page, you need to drop it in this folder as a theme. Okay. After that, you need to run the server again. Let me run it. Um, after the server open and running you can refresh here is it this is the the theme which I created just changed some items for purpose of the tutorial uh, I changed this part I add some icons as a, as a user icon and also background Oh uh, yeah, as I said, that's just uh, the purpose of the uh, demo. I changed some part of that, but this not that means only you can change these parts. No, it is possible, and as I said, it's very um, extended, uh, and uh, your hand is open to change so many parts of that. You just need to play around with that and based on your idea to customize it. Uh, the last item which I would like to uh, tell you as a hint, if you, uh, for instance, uh, your server for uh, port 8080 as a default is already occupied with other APP and you have not, then there is the solution you can uh, write such this command, uh, kc that bad start if this is actually for running the server, uh, and I think HTTP. I want to, for example, run based on the AT85. Uh, so now. Need a few second, then just change it. Yeah, 
you can see now the port is changed and if I get back to 8080 it will give me error yes give me error and 8085 now is running if you found this video helpful and gained a better understanding of how to customize the welcome page of Keycloak, don't forget to show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. Your support motivates me to create more content like this to help you on your journey. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.